challenges for the Summer Bibliothon 2016. The next biannual Bibliothon will be taking place July 3rd through July 9th. We have already announced what the video challenges are for this readathon, and those will be linked in the description of this video if you want to know what those are. Again, we are announcing these challenges super early so that you guys can get a head start on your TBR and be totally prepared for this week. One thing I'd like to think we pride ourselves in is our ability to create reading challenges that help challenge you to push your boundaries and push your limits. While we have included some of those more challenging tasks, we thought it was really, really important and let you pick books that we know that you are going to enjoy. So without further ado, here are all of the reading challenges. Number one is to read our group book, which is dun, 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 The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This time around, we finally did a poll on Twitter, so you guys picked the book. And this is her new book that just came out, and it is about a girl who has her whole life planned, her whole life set, she's a politician's daughter, but then there's a scandal that occurs, and I don't know what it is because the synopsis tells me absolutely nothing about it, but some sort of scandal happens and then suddenly her life has gone to pieces, and so she has to figure out, well, now her plan that she had set out is not going to work because of the scandal, so what is she going to do now? And I am really excited for us to read this book together. I think it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited to read Morgan Matson for the first time. If you haven't done the Bibliothon before, the group book is for the purpose of basically making the Bibliothon, which is a readathon, also a book club for one week. We will be talking about it uh, in the live show, which is going to be the following Sunday, which would be July 10th. We don't have a time set for our live show quite yet. That will be decided and then announced at a closer date to the Bibliothon. So make sure that you are following us on Twitter at the Bibliothon because we announce a lot of stuff on Twitter. So make sure that you're following us there. The second reading challenge is Free Choice or Wild Card Book. We want you to be able to read whatever book you want to this week. Surprise us with what's on your TBR. The third reading challenge for the Summer Biennial Bibliothon of 2016 is to read a book off of the host's list of recommendations recommendations. For this challenge, each of the hosts have individually chosen one of seven different lesser-known underrated books that we want to recommend to you guys. So in order to complete this challenge, you have to read one of these seven books on this list. If you don't want to complete this challenge, that's fine, but to have the third reading challenge completed, you gotta pick one of these books. Momo has chosen The Clockwork Scarab by Colleen Gleason. Selena has chosen Star Crossed by Josephine Angelini. Red has chosen Sort of Like a Rockstar by Matthew Quick. I have chosen More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. Megan is recommending The Archive by Victoria Schwab. And Cassie has chosen Apparat by Clive Barker. All the Goodreads links to the books that I have just mentioned will all be linked in the description of this video so you guys can actually check out and read the synopsis and reviews of all the books you mentioned so you know exactly which one you want to read. But we are all definitely interested to hear what books you have chosen from our list of recommendations. Next challenge is read a book with your favorite mythical creature. So we all know that a lot of us like fantasy and we thought it would be a really fun challenge to just pick whatever your favorite mythical creature is. It doesn't matter if it's a werewolf, a vampire, zombie, witch, anything, anything that is a mythical creature. You just pick whichever one is your favorite and read a book that has that mythical creature in it. So you can read anything from Harry Potter, which has phoenixes and all kinds of different things, to a book about witches like Hexed. There's so many possibilities with this challenge. The next challenge is to read a book that you've been putting off. We all have those books that for pretty much no reason at all, we keep putting them off and putting them off. We want to read them, but we still put them off anyway. And we wanted to give you an opportunity to finally read that book. We wanted to challenge you to read the book that you've been wanting to read, you've been wanting to get to, for some reason have not been able to until now. Hey, I'm Selena, and challenge number six is to read a book from an author you've never read before. No matter how much we claim to read, and no matter how many books we read, there are still always going to be authors that we haven't read before. So whether it's an author that you've absolutely heard nothing about, you saw the book and were like, dang, that looks good, or if it's an author you've heard millions of things about but just haven't gotten around to reading them yet, we want you to give it a try. So my reading challenge for you is read a book in a different format than what you usually read. This can mean a lot of things depending on how you are as a reader. Like for example, 
example, if you usually read physical books, maybe try out an ebook. Or if you usually read ebooks, maybe try out an audiobook. These days, there are just so many different ways to access books, and we just really want you guys to experience something different, I guess. Some other examples might include mixed media, manga, graphic novels. Maybe you even want to read a story that is annotated in the margin and has different stories written on top of the story, like the Shadowhunters Codex. Basically, we just want to help you experiment with different ways to read. Those are the reading challenges for this coming Bibliothon, but before you go, we have just a few more little notes we want to share with you. We know seven books in one week is a lot, so to accommodate that, you can use one book to complete two challenges as many times as you want. So there will be doubling up, but there will be no tripling up. If you have any questions regarding anything mentioned in this video, you can definitely tweet us at bbibliothon on Twitter or contact any of the hosts individually on their separate channels, which are always linked in the description and on their channels. Has all of their different social media links like Twitter, Goodreads, Instagram, all that fun stuff. We would love to see y'all's TBRs, so feel free to film a video and comment it down below, or you can tweet it at us or post a photo on Instagram, just however you want to show us your TBR, we would love to see it. And don't forget to check out the group book live show where we will be discussing The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, which will be taking place on Sunday, July 10th. Be sure to check our Twitter periodically because that is where we will be posting the time for the live show. And also, don't forget about the pre-readathon live show that will be happening sometime this June. There we will be discussing all things of previous bibliothons and answering last minute questions that you guys might have. Basically, it's just a live show to pump everybody up and share how excited we all are for the bibliothon. The official date and time for that video will be announced soon, but that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for participating. We can't wait to see your upcoming TBRs and read with you this July. Bye!